Hey, how you doing? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today you're going to learn the song Heart of Gold by Neil Young from the 1972 Harvest record. Uh, it's only four open chords, so it's a great song for beginners. And the song is in standard A440 tuning, so go ahead and tune your guitars low to high E, A, D, G, B, and E. And the four chords you're going to need to play this, four open chords, are E minor. C major, D major, and G major. And if you've got a second, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel really helps us to keep bringing the content, as well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Please leave a comment below. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see coming up. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. And a little fun fact for this song, backup vocals were performed on this song by James Taylor and Linda Ronstadt. Gotta love the fun facts. The song starts off with the intro, which includes the progression used in the verses. But let me play the whole intro for you, and then I'll go back and I'll break down the strum patterns and the rhythms. It'll sound like this. one. Think of the intro in two different parts. The second part is the same changes as the verse chords, but the first part is just E minor to D back to E minor with that lick inserted. So you start with your E minor chord and we're just going to do straight eighth notes. One and two and three and four and all down strokes, straight eighths. Down, 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 down. All right. And then two downs on your D chord and then one down back on your E minor. Sound like this slow. And two and three and four and down, down, down. Now, while that E minor chord is ringing out, you're gonna play, okay? And then all I'm doing there is I'm doing a hammer on where I'm playing that open A string and hammering with my first finger, then open D string and hammering with my second finger because I wanna stay in that kind of E minor shape. That's the lick, right? But it's important when you play that E minor chord, don't kill it, because, you know, we're playing this on solo acoustic, just one guitar, so you really want to have everything ringing out as much as possible to keep the fullness in the body of the song. And then you pick right up with E minor again, because you do that two times, and then that goes into this progression, E minor, C, D, G. Now you do that four times around for the intro. That's the same chords as in the verses. Um, and then the strum pattern we're doing on that part is just down, 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 up. And that's the same strum we're gonna use in the verses. Down, 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 up. down, pause, down, down, up. Do it real slow on the change. So that's four times, and then he goes back and he does that first part one more time. Okay, and then comes in with the first verse. And if you're having trouble changing these chords in time while you're strumming, you know, I could really help you with that because so much about chord changing is the fret hand technique. And I'll tell you what, click on that link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you a killer free extended play video lesson with my best uh, fret hand technique tips, chord changing tips and exercises. It's not available on YouTube, it's extended play. And it'll really help you get your chord changes dialed in and on point. I'll also pair it with an ebook. Um, which has more chord charts in it, more lessons, or more exercises. So it's a great one-two punch. Video lesson and ebook, I'll send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. Two verses in the song, they're both the same. The first verse, I wanna live, I wanna give. The second verse is, I've been to Hollywood, I've been to Redwood. Now the verse changes are the same as we did in the intro, is that part with E minor, C, D, and G. 
Now the only thing is he goes around three times for the verses. And we're gonna use the same strum pattern. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So let me play it for you. It'll sound like this. to the chorus. So you have your intro right into verse one. Verse one goes right into the chorus. Now keep me searching for a heart of gold. And it's getting old, right? So those chorus chords are E minor, keep me searching for a G, heart of gold, C, and I'm getting old. And then you play this riff again. And we're gonna end that on a G chord. He does that two times around uh, for the chorus. Let me play it for you and then I'll break it down and explain it. It'll sound like this right from the E minor. instrumental section comes up where he's playing harmonica after the chorus. What we're doing there is that keep me searching for a, a heart of gold, the first line. So you do those downstrokes on the E minor again, straight eighths. You know, one and two and three and four and heart. And for the heart again, we'll do downstrokes down, 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 down. Now you go to the C. Down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Two times on that C. Right, or you might hear me do it with chucking, like down, down. I just kind of hold the strings and get that percussive sound, but same strum. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, that kind of thing. So down, 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 okay? Okay, that's the second lick in the song, that little walking bass line, and that lick is third fret. Um, you're on the C chord, right? So you're just move your, um, just play that third fret. You're already kind of on it from the C. Third fret on the A string, second fret A string, open A string, then downstroke on a G chord. That's the lick, and then when you hit that G and then I do another down, down, up, down. So from that C, slow. And then he repeats that same E minor, keep me searching for a heart of gold. And, uh, and again, C again. And I'm getting old on that G. Okay, and then then it goes right from uh, that chorus section into an instrumental part where he's playing the um, harmonica, right? So you'll just probably just strum the chords. He plays that same, like in the verses, E minor to C to D to G with that same strum. Does that three times around and then he does the E minor. With that lick, like we did in the intro, he does that once, and then that goes right into verse two. I've been to Hollywood, I've been to Redwood. That's the same exact chord progression, verse two, as verse one. Then that goes into another instrumental section, and you could cut these instrumental sections out if you want, or I would just play them acoustically. Um, the second instrumental, he just does the E minor, C, D, G three times, and that's it. And then that goes right into the outro of the song. Let me play it, and then you'll, you'll hear it, and then I'll go back and explain. It'll sound like this. Okay, that ending to the song, basically you do the E minor to the D, just like we did in the intro, back to the E minor and the lick, 
do that three times. The fourth time, keep me, uh, I've been a minor for a heart of gold. You go to that G, and I did the same thing like I did in the chorus. Down, 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 right to the C. Same thing, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, lick. Right, and then you play the lick, and you end on your G major chord, you just let it ring, and that's how the song ends. And to give you a little practice, let's do a play along. I'll play the intro to the song, right into the first verse, and then I'll do the chorus, and then I'll start that instrumental part, which is before the second verse, just so you can play along, have a little practice. One, two, three, four. Enjoyed that lesson really fun one to play um, stay tuned I got lots more killer lessons and songs coming up don't forget subscribe to the channel that really helps us to keep bringing the content and then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted and also get my free video lesson and ebook by clicking on that link in the YouTube description box on essential chord changing uh, technique tips um, it's a killer extended play video lesson not on YouTube I pair it with an ebook you'll get both of them for free just click on that link below and if you got a second check out my new record I recently dropped with my original band mind cell we're based out of San Diego California I think it's a slamming record some of the best music I've ever written it's streaming on all the platforms I'll put links to it in the description box check it out and then if you have any questions on the songs or maybe on the gear I used or the recording techniques or the studio uh, drop me a line I'd love to hear from you and I hope you like the record thank you so much for your support over the years and years so appreciated keep putting those guitars in your hands every day and keep having fun with them and remember your guitar playing is an evolution so enjoy the journey take care and rock on and i'll see you in the next lesson